This is a case of uh, cupulolithiasis of the posterior canal. There's an unusual positioning nystagmus. We can't see anything here in neutral gaze. There was subtle geotropic rotatory nystagmus in the halt height right position that was long lasting but very low amplitude. Uh, can you please lean your forward so your face is facing the ground? Perfect. We'll just stay there. And right now, the, we have an emergence of a downbeat nystagmus. This is because the otoliths are falling and pushing the cupola in an ampulopedal direction um, that causes an updrift of the eye and a downbeat compensatory nystagmus. This is long lasting. I'm going to turn on the visual fixation light. You'll see that. There it is, and you can see that the uh, nystagmus is attenuated to some degree. I'm going to turn off the visual fixation light now. It's disappeared, and then the nystagmus reappears. It increases in intensity. So this goes on for minutes if we leave it there. And um, now if this really is cupulolithiasis, when we lean her back, it should reverse and we should have an upbeating nystagmus. So go ahead and sit up now. And right now, it'll, the, the downbeating nystagmus has stopped. Now we're going to return the, the chair to the down 60 degrees. We're only going to go down 60 degrees because the cupola is naturally tilted 30 degrees in a posterior direction. Open your eyes wide. And when we go down 60 degrees, it is um, horizontal, the cupola is horizontal to the ground. And now we see a down, down drift with an upbeat. Keep your eyes wide open. Uh, just, yeah, that's beautiful like that. So just keep them wide open like that for about 10 seconds. And this response is not very strong, but it's clearly a reversal of the other. Anybody know. Now I'm going to lean you back all the way and turn your head to the right. And now we'll see, keep your eyes wide open, and we have a little bit of an upbeating and rotatory nystagmus. Look with your eyes to